Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a really fun project. So we're going to switch it up with our Cricut Mug Press today and create some plants that are going to go right inside of these mugs. So this will be a great gift for somebody at the office or Mother's Day. I'm super excited about it. So we're going to go ahead and press these. I've already printed these out with my Sawgrass Sublimation printer. So we're going to take some mugs. I'm actually using the ones from Cricut. These are the 15 ounce. You can use whichever size you'd like. You could do a single design for these mugs. You could fully wrap the mugs with a design. You could do whatever you would like. So the first thing you want to do is clean this with rubbing alcohol. So we're going to do that first just to remove any sort of lint or um, any sort of you know stuff off your fingers so I'm just gonna clean that up really quickly and then we're gonna go ahead and take our design so for this one is just one single design you're simply going to line it up apply your heat resistant tape and um, when it comes to the other side you want to make sure you pull nice and taut and tape the other side down now, I like to take it a step further and cover these with a baking sheet parchment paper. Um, you can get these on Amazon. I'll have them linked below. I've cut them down to size. This is going to protect our mug press in case any ink seeps through the paper. So this is just extra. I'm going to tape it down. You don't have to have a lot of tape for this, just enough to hold it down. So I'm going to pull it nice and taut once again, get it right inside of my Cricut mug press and close it. So while this is going, let's go ahead and prep the next mug. So you can just keep on going. So I'm going to take that rubbing alcohol once again, clean my next mug and get ready for the next one. Now for this next mug, this is a full wrap design and I've also layered it in Sawgrass Creative Studio. So this is two designs layered on top of each other right on inside of there. But you don't have to do a saying, you could just do a cute pattern on a mug. So if you're in, the way that I've done it this way with it being in the center of the mug, so that way you could hide the handle in the background. So if you were using it just for a planner, you could use your, uh, hide your handles in the back. So you just wanna line that up nice and straight, get it nice and centered on your mug, and then you're gonna tape it down. I like to make sure that it's nice and flush with the bottom, that no paper is hanging on the bottom. So I'm just taping that down. Once again, I'm gonna take and protect my mug press with this parchment paper, so I like to get it taped on my mug. So I'm gonna get that down. So I'm just prepping while we're waiting on the next. So we're gonna set that aside, and once this next mug is ready to go, we're just going to pop it open and remove this mug. So with this mug press, the handle stays cold, so you're just gonna set it aside and let it continue to sublimate. So don't wrap it right away, let it completely cool down. So I'm gonna slide the next one in and hit go. So I'm just gonna close that handle there and get our next mug going. Now, when it comes to planning these, you definitely wanna make sure both mugs completely cool down before you you know, plant these. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove, while we're working on that one, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the papers from this one to show you guys how cute this is. And I love it, this one says, sometimes I wet my plants, but I thought it would be cute because once they remove the plant and repot it in something else, they definitely don't have to, but uh, they can use the mug. So it's, it's two gifts in one. They get the plant and the mug, and I just think it's gonna be perfect. And it just gives us something else to do with our mug press. So now I've got both of those out of the mug. The, the second ones came out, and now I'm gonna remove the full wrap so you guys can see the full wrap here. So I'm just going to peel this right off so you guys can check it out. And I think this one's cute. So it says, hey, sucka. So I think it would be cute with the succulent. So this will be neat for, you know, also if somebody's down, this would be a great get well gift for at the hospital or if somebody's having a bad day or just giving a best friend a gift. I'm super, super excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and set both of these aside. I'm using my Cricut uh pad as well to cool those down now once you got to cool down we're ready to plant you can simply take your plants the whole container and just set them inside like this if you want to if you don't want to fuss around with anything slip them on inside the mug like this and give it as a gift I purchased these from Lowe's. You can get them from your local nursery, and these were about $4 a plant. You can get them all over the place. I think even Walmart carries these things. So as you can see, I'm playing around with a few different plants to figure out which one I like for each one. And even there's ones cute that's like um, aloe there, you know, like aloe vera and stuff. So you can see, do some really cute sayings, guys. So I'm just playing around figuring out which plants I want to do. 
Once I figure out exactly which ones I want to work with, I'm going to set them aside and now we're going to put in some potting soil. Now the potting soil that I'm using here is, um, it's indoor potting mix. Once again, got it right down there at Lowe's. You could get it at your local store, um, wherever. So you could use your mug to just scoop right in there. And I do these like a little bit less than half. I just want to use, I want enough in there because our plants already come with so much. I just need enough to finish off the mug. So it's a little bit less than half. I took a piece of scrap cardboard and it actually came from my mugs boxes and I'm using that as a scooper if you don't have something and if you don't want to scoop right into your mug and get it all over your mug. So um, I'm going to go ahead and scoop those right inside and get, get them nice and even and then you'll see me kind of press those down just a little bit just to kind of push everything down because if you don't do it now you're going to have to really push on your plant to kind of do that and I don't really like to do that so I like to do it while it's um, before the plant goes in. The next thing which is totally optional you may want to go ahead and add in just a little bit of water so that way they've got their water right on side. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my plant here and get it out of the little pot. Just by simply tilting it over, they'll slide right out. So I'm just going to get it in there and right around the sides of this one, since the succulent takes up kind of, you know, quite a space, instead of pushing on the plant, I push on um, the soil. Now you can see I'm gently lifting it up. You could also tilt the mug again if you want to switch it around and have um, it facing towards the front in a better way. So that's it. Super cute, right? I love the way that this one came out. It's really, really adorable. And so I'm just playing around. If there's any little sticks or anything that are in there, um, I'm removing those and just making it look so much better. So just like that, super cute. So now let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This one's my favorite. Sometimes I wet my plants, so adorable. So I'm gonna remove this paper. You could definitely keep it inside if you'd like. So that way, you know, people knows what it is if they're not aware or it comes with the instructions. But I pulled mine out. I think it looks a lot cuter that way. And I'm gonna go ahead and push this down. So we're just gonna push right around it and, um, and get it just nice inside of the mug and just make it look as best as it can. Now, once again, these would make amazing Mother's Day's coming up, a graduation gift, teacher's gifts, nurse's gifts, somebody that, there's so many different sayings for get well and all of that stuff. These designs came from design bundles, by the way, guys. I will have these designs and patterns down below if you wanna check that out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.